Uh, big baller, triple B's. Shout out to Hoop Journey. Yo, what is going on, guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like it and subscribe to the channel today. We're going to get into Mellow Ball, young prospect who I believe is the best player in high school right now. A lot of people against the Ball family, I understand. But just take your opinions and what you think of LeVar Ball and his family out of this. LaMelo Ball currently unranked even though he's a high school player returning back for his senior year at Spire. As you can see that is the top 10 2019 class rankings right there. James Wiseman leading the class just committed and signed to Memphis. But LaMelo Ball when he was ranked in this class the highest he ever peaked was at number 7 when he was a sophomore working his way up. And I'm sure he would have kept on moving up in the ladders. But Melo's game has evolved. He was more known as just a scorer, flat out scorer. He could give you 30, a 30 piece easily with no problem. But I've seen LaMelo Ball play a couple games for Spire live already. I've obviously seen his game highlights and his full game footage. So I do see a lot of improvements. And one of the most improved categories of his game I've seen so far is his passing ability. We all know he was a great scorer and could handle the ball really well. But I see Melo setting up his teammates a lot more now for Spire. Melo has a really good point guard at Spire named Rocket Watts. Kind of blew up over the summer. He's a really good player and him and Melo share the scoring load. But getting back into Melo, a lot of potential. Right now, grew to six foot seven. His athleticism has improved tremendously. He's dunking at ease, at will now. Showing off a lot more dunk packages as well. So he's about six foot seven right now. And LeVar once said in an interview that he could potentially grow to six foot ten. Now that would be kind of crazy. I don't know if you're able to be able to get to six foot ten. But I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe six foot eight, six foot nine. He could be a nice two guard. He is a combo guard. I'm not sure if he's a point guard or shooting guard. He can play either or. Just like Lonzo's a six foot seven point guard. Jello's a shooting guard, even though he's not as talented as Lonzo or Lamelo. But there just goes that the Ball family is a guard family and. Lamelo could be either or, but I list him as a combo guard. Potentially could grow to six foot ten. He has been growing a lot over these last couple of summers. And Lamelo said he is eligible for college, even though he played for at overseas at Vitalis and then the JBA league. And Lavar said this is due because Lamelo never signed with an agent. Lamelo was never paid overseas, so he's still considered not a pro technically and officially. And he's over here playing back at high school, so I do believe there's a chance he could go to college. And Lamelo said the two schools that he'd be looking at are Duke and Kentucky, or just the top basketball schools, especially schools that are known for putting out one and dones, which Lamelo's trying to do. And if he doesn't go the college route, Lamelo says he'll be going down the G League with their program, the new program that they'll be granting scholarships to young prospects that are 18 years old that are not eligible yet for the NBA draft. And Melo does fill up that category, and I'm sure the NBA would love to have Lamelo Ball be the star and the head of that program because we all know the Ball family, they are big time box office so you know the NBA is just salivating over the chance at signing LaMelo Ball as the first prospect to that G League and I'm sure that would definitely help develop his game and once he's in the G League I don't know if he has to get drafted or that G League team that signs him could just move him up whenever they feel so I'm not sure how that all works out but getting back to LaMelo and Spire, finishing his senior year over there. A lot of people are looking forward to the matchup versus Oak Hill, LaMelo Ball versus number one ranked point guard Cole Anthony. But unfortunately, Oak Hill did drop out of this match because they said they would not like to play against LaMelo, who they considered as a professional player. And LeVar said in an interview that Oak Hill is scared of LaMelo Ball and he would give him the worst loss of all time. A lot of fighting words right there from LeVar Ball. And I do feel the same way. Not that it will be the worst loss of all time, but just Oak Hill is just ducking LaMelo. I don't see why they wouldn't have this matchup. It would be great for the fans watching and just for both teams bragging rights and it would be a classic game, a great game. 
Lamella Ball, only 17 years old as a senior. He will graduate and still be 17 years old, looking forward to go to college or the G League. So that helps a lot. He reclassed up, skipped the grade. LeVar Ball moved him up so he could play on that freshman team. And it's a good move, especially if you know your son has a very high chance of going to the NBA. Why not get, why not get him there as young as possible? And as fast as possible with LaMelo Ball, I see limitless potential if he puts in that hard work and effort. A lot of people do question his work ethic, his teammates at Vitalis. Some of them said that he was lazy and would not take practice seriously. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about LaMelo Ball. Will he be able to get drafted into the NBA? Will he go to the G League? or play Division I basketball next season. Let me know in the comments below. The six foot seven, 17 year old combo guard has a lot of potential and I believe he'll be a top 10 pick in the upcoming NBA draft. Yeah.